at this point, we have done so many Sims 4 shell challenges. I'm like, how can we make this different? How can we change this up? And then I went on the hashtag, try me sit on the gallery, which I put out for you guys to upload your shell challenges, upload your build challenges. And you guys are coming through. There's so many on here to choose from, but I found this one. This is like a terrain manipulation shell challenge. I've never done anything like this before. And basically it's exactly how it sounds. I can't change the walls and I also can't change the terrain, which is very, very difficult. Terrain manipulation in The Sims 4 is like the worst thing ever, basically. For me, personally. Anyway, this was created by Mer Martin 2 on the gallery and we're gonna download it. We're gonna do this today. Look at this freaking thing. Like, hello, this is like terrain manipulation used to its fullest. Like, I don't know if you could even go higher on this lot than this. I place this in Strangerville because I'm already worried about like this here, which you can't change. Even if I tried to like use terrain paint and like paint over it, I can't get rid of that like color right there. So I figured it would kind of like blend in here. I'm wondering if I should go for like a medieval kind of look or like training of some kind, like combat training. I don't know. I'm getting very like medieval vibes right off the bat from this, but I don't do medieval styles too often on my channel for a couple of reasons. One, I don't know if I'm very good at it, first of all. And second, sometimes I feel like I don't like how they look with the color scheme and everything. So let's try and do like medieval, but with a twist. What if this is like a medieval training facility where you would go and train for battle, but it's like a gaming facility. Is that stupid? <laughs> Like, what if we made this so that it looks like really serious, but on the inside, it's like training to be like a pro gamer. <laughs> let's go gamers, let's do it. Let's go gamers. Okay, so right now I actually saw this trick that I'm doing on the gallery before. I can't remember where I saw it, so I do apologize, but I'm gonna be putting these here. These are from Realm of Magic all the way around my towers with this point here from Get Together. And then I'm also gonna go in with a paranormal light. I don't know what color I wanna go for yet, but I'm gonna size this up and I'm gonna put it in between every single thing that I've just placed here. Then it adds like a really cool colorful element. I feel like it looks almost like Disney castle like, which if we could pull off that kind of vibe, I would be so happy. That would be amazing. Should we like aim for Disney gaming castle? <laughs> like I'm so down. Whoa, let's make it look like extra magical like this. Hold on. That's so pretty. Hong Kong Disneyland's new castle. I'm booking a freaking flight. I just finished up the roofing for this one here. I'm probably going to do like a similar sort of thing on the other ones. And for my wallpaper, I'm using this from Discover University. I think I'm gonna put that on everything and then just like decorate them, like do the details differently. I'm also thinking let's do like medium wall height for the first floor, just to make it look a little bit taller. <laughs> also like after I figured out what the main building is gonna look like, now I'm just sort of like replicating here. I'm trying to make sure that I'm using the same sort of patterns. I do want them to look different, but I don't want it to be too overwhelming that they all look like completely non-cohesive at all. Right now it's looking okay. Okay, I need to go in with my windows and my doors. And I've been using some like roofing details as well. Some are from Strangerville and some are from Get Together. I find when I'm doing this kind of build, like these are the best ones to kind of go for. I'm starting to add my doors. And while I'm doing that, I'm trying to like think of where I would have to go to get into these things. So this one, I'm gonna put a ladder and we're gonna go directly up the tower. This one, I'm gonna use stairs. And like, it's kind of helping me figure it out that way. Oh my God, placing stairs is actually really, really hard because I have nowhere to like place it to like, turn it around, you know? Oh, maybe here. Okay. Look how big it is. I just want it to be turned like that so I can get it into this place. Oh no. <laughs> That's evil. It's like just small enough. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get my stairs in there. <gasps> I think we need to do ladders. I think the other one will be fine. Like I'll be able to get stairs in here for sure. Like no problem. Wait, what if I tried to turn these in here? Will that work? <gasps> that actually shocked me. Like out loud, that gasp was a hundred percent authentic. I thought we were no chance going to get those in in there. Yes. Okay. That is such a tiny little space. I don't know what's going to go in there. Maybe a computer or something. <laughs> Look how scary it is up here. Like if you fall, you're done. Like you have no chance. I need to add a fence. Not like it's going to help at all. I mean, to be fair, these stairs don't have railings either. And I feel like it kind of adds to like the mystery of this place. And realistically, the Sims, your Sims are going to be fine. I promise. I guarantee. So I'm realizing when I'm adding my flooring, I need to be really careful because the terrain 
terrain will adjust to the flooring that I put. Like, if I wanted to just go like that, it would adjust the terrain, you know? So, like, I need to be careful. If I move it slightly, I apologize. Trust me. This is very hard as it is. But I'm gonna be using Control F. By the way, that's how you can do, like, those little, like, triangle pieces. Control F on your keyboard. And I'm just gonna try and, like, go around its natural shape. We're gonna have, like, a little bit of movement. But I promise I'm gonna do my best. How does it look if I add hedged fencing? Maybe just, like, here and there. I've been using this other, like, base game one. So all of my windows and doors are complete. I'm thinking, like, one of these will have the actual beds and, like, be an actual house. And the rest of them are just gonna have... I haven't decided what kind of games yet. Um, but yeah, let's get started on some landscaping. So what I do wanna do is use... I think Island Living... No, Jungle Adventure has these. I'm gonna use these and kind of, like, wrap them around some of my towers. I think they look really nice, like, going up the side of this style of build. Like, even just like that, like, wrapping around this way and, like, when you play with the different angles, you can get that kind of effect. Let's try this one wrapping around the entire tower. So I'm gonna start with this one and then you kind of, like, go like this. If we cover the windows, it's fine. I'm gonna go back and, like, fix it later. But yeah, just keep wrapping, just keep wrapping. And now, after I finished it, it is wrapping around the entire tower. Doesn't that look cool? I think it's such a fun effect. Putting these on there makes it look actually a lot better. Whoa! Okay, we've cracked the code. This is our moment of realization. Every build's got one. I swear. Every single one. It does look a little weird, like my tree choices that I'm using here in Strangerville. I would love to move. I just don't know where to go. I can hear a freaking snow plow outside. I'm literally trying to like film around it. It's like going back and forth. It's that time of year, folks. Why have I not put this in Henford yet? Whoa, this looks way better. What the heck? This is literally a different build now. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm allowed to add these ponds here, but like I'm really just doing it to fill up space, okay? I'm just trying to fill out my lot. I don't know if like adding terrain is like cheating this challenge. I don't feel like it's affecting the actual build. It's just the outside filling in the space because I didn't have that space there before. So I think it's fair. In my humble opinion, I think we'll let that one slide. And I want to go in with some terrain paint too. Like I think I'm going to be coloring all of my pathways. What do we use though? Like do we use this? Also like look at this little bumpy part. Like what is going on? Okay. And then we we'll just go like this. This is actually really satisfying. Look at, oh, here's our pathway. That's so scary. Oh my God. I want to see my Sims go up these stairs. And any awkward little spot like this here, I'm just going to add a tree, try and make it look normal and like over here. But I'm also trying to be careful because this could become too much very, very quickly. This looks crazy. I, I kind of love this. I think it's time for us to maybe go inside or like consider starting to go inside because if not, honestly, I'm not kidding. I could be out here all day. Like I could keep adding more and more and more, I think, but I kind of want to stop. There are four buildings after all. So let's start here with this one. I think we're going to go with this gaming thing because I just think it's funny. Maybe we will try and combine like the medieval style with the gaming situation. I don't even know. Like, would you count this as medieval? Like what style are we going for here? I'm going to go and put railings on these stairs at least. And let's put an office up here. I want to do a big table. This is going to be maybe more of like a quiet area. I don't want to say a studying area because I don't think it's going to be that, but this could fit my vibe. Paranormal stuff might look really nice with this aesthetic with that like green and then it matches all of the trees around. <gasps> I'm excited. Okay, my camera also is like out of control. So I need to find like a good space and then just like not move <laughs> from it. It's all the terrain. I want to give that computer like the most expensive one in the game and then I want a gaming chair. I'm thinking like what style though? Like this one maybe? Or should I do like more of a fancy one? That is what we have to do definitely oh my god okay i'm thinking about like adding these is this gonna be like rich kid gamers <laughs> let's come up with a team name oh my god that's fun in the comments section down below what's our esports gaming team name we'll add like our trophies from all the games we've won so here is room number one that is a more private gaming space i don't know what i'm gonna do down here like maybe i can just do a rug and like an ottoman like that one <laughs> and a plant maybe okay so there is a building number one i think next we should do our tower so let's do this one here. And what am I going to put in there? We don't have a whole lot of room, obviously. Oh my God. Like I don't have any room at all, actually. Okay. If I bring this up, then we can make it to both floors. The top floor is probably going to be the main one. So let's start here. This could be where you like improve your logic skill, maybe. Like you go here. This is like where you take some time off of gaming. <laughs> this concept. You take some time off of gaming and this is where you get your logic skill up. <laughs> 
tournaments are held here. Oh my god, look at it with the lighting from the roof. And we'll decorate it accordingly too. Like I can get that book on there. Oh, since it's a battle, we could use these. This is so funny and like kind of fun. I haven't done this in so long, like this style. Maybe we need a rug. This is the gamer crest. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Okay, there is our chess table area. Maybe our color is yellow. All right, and then down below, I don't know, like what am I gonna put in here? Maybe just I'll bring the stone that was there. I gotta be careful because I can't block like any of this space. So you know what? I don't want to make it non-functional. Let's maybe add like a hanging plant in here and like one of these and we're gonna call it a day. Okay, next we're gonna go up. Let's do the big house and this is where I think I'm going to be doing the main gaming area and then this will be our actual like home. So in this one, where are my stairs? Okay, so my door is here. We'll do stairs there. This can be a bathroom. I want these in here, but look how big they are. Okay, what if upstairs, lose some windows is just how it's gonna have to be. Okay, if I make a room over there, I'm trying to like fix all of my plants which are coming in. We've got one button basher here. I'm gonna change up my wallpaper in this one. I think I want like a warmer tone. And then I'm gonna go in with these and see if I can find a good swatch. Wait, what about that? I've added some like treasure chests right there as storage. And I'm also gonna be adding in some trophies just to kind of like show off our accomplishments here. Oh, we are using the luxury party stuff things here too. Oh, you know that like one game? Oh, like this one? Let's put that in the corner. It fits perfectly right there. Okay, cool. We need something to go over here. I don't know what we're gonna put. We can do like a few desks in here. What if I brought the same flooring, same wallpaper? Let's get the fancy like single person desk and see how many I can fit in here properly. I'm gonna guess the max that I could get in here would maybe be three. Actually, okay, here's what we're gonna do. This I know for sure will be functional. One, two, three, four computers. Wait, this room is actually really pretty. I'm like adding curtains, some vintage glamour freaking mirrors in here, cause why not? And those from like Journey to Batu. On this side, I'm just adding some wall lights cause I feel like we need them. And then I'll put something in between. Maybe like that little light. That looks kind of cute. Okay, I think this upstairs part is done. Let's go back downstairs. And I haven't added any like TV space yet. Oh my God, we're gonna have to fix this too. Back there, I'm gonna do a nice cozy little space. I could maybe add like a bookshelf hiding in here. It's very, very dark in this corner. I'm gonna delete this window here and we are gonna put a huge TV, maybe like multiple. Let's do three. Just like that, that looks really cool. We'll get like a nice rustic kind of looking like coffee table or we could do the trunk and we have to get all of the like video gaming stuff. Like this thing, what color? Maybe like a white or a gray or a black. <laughs> okay, so that side is coming along and then over here, I don't know what I'm gonna put in that little corner there. Maybe we can do a huge bookshelf. That looks really pretty right there. Oh, and then maybe I can do like a round table and add more laptop space over here because we don't have laptops. We've got the desktops. Oh, that is not gonna fit in there. Is it? It's gonna be a tight squeeze if it does. No way. There, this is how I used to game. I never had like a, a desktop or anything when I was like growing up. So I just used my laptop and I would bring it to people's houses and this is how I would game with other people. I'm gonna do a bathroom in here um, before we move on to the final house. I might actually just do this so that I have a couple toilets in here and then one sink. Cause like, I don't want there to be a shower or bathtub in this one. There's no point really. So this one is gonna have a couple toilets and then the sink in this like main room here. Oh my God, it's teeny tiny. Look at those little toilets. Okay, so this house is complete, all done. Let's move on to the final one. And this is where everyone is gonna live, I guess. And again, like not a whole lot of room in here. Like I'm gonna have to be very careful trying to figure out a layout. Like, should I use a ladder? I think I'm going to just to make sure that I've got everything that I need in here. So we'll have a ladder leading up like right there. Upstairs will be a bedroom. Maybe like a couple beds up there. Like I think maybe I could do like a shared bedroom. Like it's like a camp or something. Rich gamer camp. That is my build today. Let's do the bedroom first. I feel like it's gonna be fun. So let's get like a whole bunch of beds. Like cute ones. They're older, I think. Maybe teens. Oh wait, they have to be fancy. My bad. Ooh, we need like these. Again, Discover University. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's a gamer university. I don't know what freaking game we're gonna be playing with like only three people, but it doesn't matter. Professional Sims tournament. Can you imagine? Wait, that did happen. The Sims Spark. <laughs> no shade, no shade. I loved the Sims Spark. That was a thing. I feel like I dreamt that. Okay, we're gonna get a mirror. We're gonna get some nice little plants. Make it really pretty. Like, I don't even know if there's a place like this that exists on Earth. Ooh, let's get a clock. Nice fancy clock. We'll put one up like maybe right here or maybe like this one. Like shrink it. I love using this clock on indoor builds. Like, look how good it looks. It's big, it's huge, but I mean, we can make it even smaller. I just think it's so pretty. There, look at that. We've got 
our three beds upstairs. We've got a dresser, some mirrors, and then for downstairs, I think I'm gonna put a fireplace right in there. We could do probably the eco lifestyle one. Just like squeeze that on in. I need to do my kitchen. I need a bathroom in here still. Oh, maybe I won't put that fireplace. This fireplace can go somewhere else. And then our bathroom can be like right there. I have three Sims living upstairs. We're gonna have one shower. Your Sims might hate each other here, but it's all gonna add to the drama. <laughs> Let's do a shower right in there. We'll do a toilet. I'm using like the realm of magic ones. Toilet there and I could do a sink on this side. Very pretty. Okay, so there's our bathroom all complete. Now I need a living room and I need a kitchen still. So let's figure that out. Sink, oven, prep, smoke detector. All the basics are good. I've got my fridge here. I'm kind of debating on like, I wonder if that works better. And then to like hide this, what if I put a hanging plant? Cause I think the new one would like squeeze in there and just like distract that awkward corner maybe. I'm gonna try that instead. I might actually put an island here cause I can add some laptops. They can like hang out on those if they want. And then I'll probably put like some TVs maybe upstairs for them as well. Maybe they're renting. That would make a lot of sense why they haven't changed the wallpaper or the flooring or like the general structure of everything. And that's why we've got like paintings like these in here. We just can't change the walls. We're renting this huge, very expensive building. I've actually deleted that one window. I'm gonna put a TV up right here so that they can all see it from their room. This one kind of gets screwed a little bit, but I'm sorry. And then we can go in and grab like a couch or an ottoman or even maybe we don't even need it. Maybe just like a poof. I would assume you could also like move these out of your way if you like wanted to at some point, but there we go. So that is gonna be our really expensive gamer like village. I hope you guys like this build challenge. This was really fun and different. Um, I would definitely be down to do more of these in the future, like these terrain style builds as I kind of like get used to them a little more, but this is how mine ended up. I will put this on the gallery for you guys if you're interested under Cindy Macaretta. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.